Hi friend, how are you? It is Tuesday, 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 and I'm Pat Sloan here for our daily video, our daily challenge for April, and we're going to do it in May. A lot of you answered that yes, you'd like to do this again in May. So we will do dailies again in May. Uh, it is a little bit for me to record these, but I'm okay with that. I, I'm enjoying them as hopefully as much as you are. <laughs> It's like, and uh, you know, let me know if you're watching them every day. I'm really curious because I know what the view rate is and I know there's a lot more people out there on Facebook. So uh, I'm thinking some of you aren't coming to watch every day, but maybe I can get that number to jump up, get you over here watching. So what are we doing today on the 21st of April? We are doing a reboot. So reboots are pretty nice. They're not too hard, but I do want you to think a little bit on a reboot. So I want you to go today and find something that you haven't worked on for a while. So some of you might actually have like a, a block of the month, you know, like a monthly thing or like a block of the week, like my Wednesday, you know, childhood games, uh, or you might be doing another project that is uh, coming out in some sort of cycle, like Baby Charming is every week. So if you're doing one of those and maybe you're behind a little bit, one of them you need to catch up on something, today would be a good day to do that. Get it out and you don't have to do the whole thing. I think this is where our mindsets get a little bit like bogged down. We get like down in the mud with everything because we're like, oh, I don't have time to do the whole block. Um, don't think of it like that. Just think of it, let me take it out and work on it for 10 minutes. Work on it for 15 minutes. Maybe it turns into a half an hour. Maybe you get it halfway done. Maybe you do get the whole thing done. But if you start out with a mindset is that you have to complete the whole unit, uh, that can uh, stifle you. I mean, it, it, it just makes us go like, oh, I'm not even gonna start because I can't finish it. Uh, so it's a, I think it's a lot better to uh, think, okay, I'm gonna get it out today, get something out I need to reboot for and work on it for 10 minutes. So like today I'm doing the cross stitch because I haven't gotten the uh, charity cross stitch out for several days. And the last day that I did take it out, here, it's in here. <laughs> I had a huge fail. So it's in here. So I'll show you. The last day that I did take it out, which the, this may not look any different than the last time I showed you. So I'm working on, whoops, where is it? I'm working on this guy. Where is he? There. So this, I had one of those yellow diamonds there. or you know, so, so I put one in and it was wrong. And I'm not very, I'm a baby cross stitcher, so I'm not even that good at like uncross stitching. <laughs> I can unpick a quilt seam like that. But cross stitch, you know, I had lots of threads and it got all knotted. And so I took it out and then I put it away. So I was like, ah, <laughs> I don't want to look at that. And so I put it away for uh, since then, whatever day that was. So today I have it out. It's out on the desk and it will, I will work on it. I also got out behind me my scrappy stars. Ah, I put them way up high. I meant to put them a little further down so you could see the, all of them while I was talking. But this is what happens sometimes. So there they are. And these have like two sizes. Here, I'll scoot you in a little bit. You can see two sizes of um, black and white polka dots. Let me just see. Here we go. And what I ended up noticing, let me just scroll you up here, way up, is I ended up noticing that I had done sort of navy red, navy red, except for that one there that's all orange. I don't know what happened there. There's always one in the bunch, right? One who doesn't, I made all these, but... <laughs> But I thought I need to alternate them. I'm not going to worry about alternating the small and the big dots. I am just going to alternate red and black. Will I take the orange one out? I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave it there because it kind of makes me smile. It's like, yes, there's the oddball. <laughs> That's the orange one. I think I was going to make them all scrappy centers and then forgot that concept along the way and it ended up with blues and reds. Uh, so I will, 
I need to do one more row. That's a four by four, which is square. And if I was gonna hang it just on the wall, but I'm thinking it will um, be four by five, and then I have to decide on sashing, and then I'll probably look around and maybe, maybe I'll put a border on it, maybe not. Maybe that um, cocktail fabric I have cocktail hour the black one do you remember that I can't get up and get it because I'm miked and it's what's way up there it's way up on the top shelf but see I'll lift this see it's on the top middle shelf up there but it was black with that orange ah maybe I'll see what that looks like since we got black stars so that is my other reboot just because um, I have the traffic jam that is uh, almost ready to um, get the center part, the last row. So I said do one more row on that one. Um, I don't have that here, but anyway, that's that's almost done. So <laughs> I thought I'd answer a question today, and then do the stay at home. Show you my stay at home block progress. Okay, what question? So Alma asked, um, she said, she wanted to know if there was, no, let's not do that one, because I'll do that one another time, Alma. I'll do that one another time. Um, so, okay, I'll do a silly one. Diana asked, do you sleep? Lots of people ask me that. Do I sleep? Of course I sleep. I sleep just like you. I sleep every night. <laughs> I like to go to sleep at night. I, I go to bed, I sleep about seven hours a night. You know, if I don't get that much, I don't do well after a few days. I don't know about you, but that seems to be my, my magic number. I used to get eight, eight hours, but I can do seven now. Um, so let's see. Another one, I'll answer another one. Joyce asked, uh, do, how did I get into pattern designing? So, I don't know, are these businessy kind of questions boring? I'll answer it. You tell me in the comments whether it's boring to hear me talk about that. It's like, rather than talk about something else. But I, uh, I wanted to own my own business. And so when I started quilting, I loved the quilting so much. And I started making, uh, you know, I, I loved it in all aspects of it. Not just the making of it, not just the designing, but I loved learning. I had a local quilt shop and the owner started telling me a bit about how the business works and she asked me to teach classes for her. And so in that process, I was learning about the business and I thought this is really fascinating and I loved learning not just the craft of making a quilt, but the business behind what gets all of those books and patterns and fabric and notions and threads and batting to you. I liked, no, I liked how all of that was working. And so I decided to start designing some patterns of my own um, for, the for teaching, for teaching in the shop. And people liked them a lot. And so I thought, well, maybe this is an avenue, um, you know, this was 20 years ago. So it was a little more, it was probably more, probably more like 22 or 23 years ago when I started sort of designing for that shop just to, to do for my classes. And then it started exploring, taking that out to see if anybody wanted to purchase them uh, in stores. Because really being uh, designing single quilt patterns and then having my stuff in the magazines was about the only way to get your work out. There was really no internet. You couldn't wake up and you know flip open your phone and look to see what your friend in Australia just did you know five minutes ago. That was not available. So. <laughs> It's hard to believe, right? You couldn't see where the quilt shops were. You know, they had to have, you know, you had to look in the magazines in the back and they were, they ran ads. I mean, it was just uh, not convenient. It's way more convenient now <laughs> that's to find everything. So that's how I got started. It was really a love of business and looking at how I could own my own business and what, um, and this fit the bill. So there you go. Tell me if you liked hearing that. <laughs> I don't want to bore people. That's <laughs> Okay, our stay-at-home blocks. This is what I picked for today. It is a sweet, sweet bee. I love that it looks like, uh, f like fabric 
on fabric. It looks like a bee made out of fabric and applique down. This is a Bonnie Christine fabric. Um, I don't know if it's still available. If it is, I'll link it below underneath. But I have always loved the bee hives, the bee skeps, uh, which are different things, uh, and, and the bees themselves as images. Uh, bumblebees, you know, those big sort of, maybe it isn't quite a bumblebee, but I like the drawing of bees. When anybody draws them, they just love them. That is something that, I don't know, I like it. So I had to get this fabric. I have like a, got like a half a yard of it or something. So I keep cutting pieces of it out and there's <laughs> getting like Swiss cheese, getting like sections of it because it's basically a repeat of this, you know, in a, in a pattern. Also, I put together, I didn't get the last one on yet from yesterday. It's still up there on the, on the wall. See it up there? Yeah, the dress, the dresses from yesterday. I didn't get that one yet, but I have, I have the row. So the dresses will go down here and then this will go on to, uh, to our quilt. It's getting big. And I started auditioning and looking for a border fabric for it. Um, I'm going to try to find something that's uh, sort of just reads colors, if that makes sense. And I'll show you, um, I may end up doing a blog post on that because uh, um, it's, it's kind of interesting to go through and try to see what's going to work with this quilt. Because we have a lot going on with this quilt. Here's the, here's the upper section. Ta-da! I'll show you. I love, I love how happy it is. So I'm looking for something that kind of pulls it together with, uh, with color for the border because the border I'm only going to probably do like, would I, I don't remember what the pattern said, but like probably three inches or something, an inner border than the outer border. So, okay, <laughs> here we go. We're ready for our day. Whether you're watching in the morning or you're watching later tonight, or another day. Um, hope you have a good one. Uh, I am so excited that you stop in every day and leave me a comment. Tell me what your reboot is for today. That is your challenge assignment. So I'm Pat Sloan. I love you and we'll see you online. Bye-bye.